بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو المنیر ہائی سکول ای لرننگ سسٹم کلاس نائن دس از یور فزکس فزکس لیکچر یونٹ نمبر از ون یس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس آور یونٹ نمبر ون دس از ٹائٹل پیج آف فزکس بک فار کلاس نائن یونٹ ون از اباؤٹ دا فزیکل کوانٹیٹیز اینڈ میئرمنٹ سو اسٹوڈنٹس ان دس چیپٹر first of all we will introduce the physics what is physics what is the definition of physics what are the applications of physics in our daily life then we will look at the physical quantities then international system of units what are the prefixes multiples and their sub multiples scientific notation standard form measuring instruments meter rule vernier calipers screw gauge physical balance stop watch measuring slender and in the last the introduction of significant figures so first of all look at the definition of physics students in the 19th century physical sciences were divided into five distinct disciplines physics chemistry astronomy geology and metrology but the most fundamental of these is the physics in physics we will study matter energy and their interaction so what is physics it is the study of matter energy and their interaction the laws and principles of physics help us to understand the nature next here we have some applications and uses of physics yet the rapid progress in science during the recent years has become possible due to the discoveries and inventions in the field of physics so the technologies are the applications of scientific principles most of the technologies of our modern society throughout the world are related with this subject physics for example a car is made on the principles of machines refrigerator in our homes are based on the principles of thermodynamics students look at the different branches of physics mechanics it is the study of motion of objects heat in which we will study the nature of heat sound it deals with the physical aspects of sound waves production properties and applications light we also call it optics is it is the study of physical aspects of light its properties working and use of optical instruments electricity and magnetism magnetism it is a study of the charges at rest and motion their effects and their relationship with magnetism atomic physics it is related with the study of nature and properties of atoms nuclear physics it deals with the properties and behavior of nuclei and the particles within the nuclei plasma physics it is the study of production properties of the ionic state of matter the fourth state of matter geophysics it is the study of the internal structure of the earth next students we have some applications yes consider the means of transportation such as cars aeroplanes domestic appliances appliances such as air conditioners refrigerators vacuum cleaners washing machines microwaves in the field of communication radio tv television and computer are the results of applications of physics next what are the physical quantities students look at the definition all measurable quantities aisi quantities jinko hum easily measure kar sake wo physical quantities kehlati hain for example length aap kisi bhi object ki height length mass time temperature measure kar sakte hain so the all these are the physical quantities for example if the height of the of a student is 104 cm then 104 is is its numerical magnitude एंड सेंटीमीटर इज द यूनिट ऑफ द मयरमेंट अगर हम ये कहते हैं कि किसी भी स्टूडेंट का कि हाइट 104 सेंटीमीटर है तो 104 जीरो फोर नुमेरिकल मैग्नीट्यूड है और सेंटीमीटर इज द यूनिट ऑफ द मयरमेंट सो फिजिकल क्वान्टिटीज आर डिवाइडेड इन टू बेस क्वान्टिटीज एंड ड्राइव क्वान्टिटीज वट आर द बेस क्वान्टिटीज स्टूडेंट्स बेस क्वान्टिटीज आर द क्वान्टिटीज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच अदर क्वान्टिटीज आर एक्सप्रेस ऐसी क्वांटिटीज को बेस क्वांटिटीज कहते हैं जिसकी बेस पे आप दूसरी क्वांटिटीज को मैयर कर सकें देर आर सेवन फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज विच फॉर्म द फाउंडेशन फॉर अदर फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज सेवन ऐसी क्वांटिटीज हैं जिनकी बेस पे आप दूसरी फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज को मैयर कर सकते हैं दीज आर द 
length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, intensity of light. What are the drive quantities, students? Those quantities which are expressed in terms of base quantities. Asi quantities, jo base quantities ki terms pe express ki jati hai, are called the drive quantities, ya jin ko hum drive karte hai, base quantities se. For example, volume, speed, force, work, energy, power, electric charge, electric charge, electric potential are, are, are all the drive quantities because they can easily drive from the base quantities. Next we have the topic of international system of units. What are the international system of units? Mirroring is not simply counting. Mirroring is not simply count. Karna nahi. For example, if we need milk or sugar, we must also understand how much quantity of milk or sugar you need. So to measure all these type of quantities, we have a proper system. We call it international system of units. With the development in the field of science and technology, the need for a commonly acceptable system of units was seriously felt all over the world, particularly to exchange scientific and technical information. So 11th Journal Conference on Weight and Measures held in Paris in 1960 adopted a wo worldwide system of measurements. We call it International System of Units. So the International System of Units is commonly referred as SI. According to it, it tells that it tells that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter, 1 liter is equal to 1 decimeter cube, the quantities like that. Next we have the base units, the units that describe base quantities are called base units. So this is the definition of base units. Those units that describe base quantities, as a units jo base quantities ko describe karte hai, we call it base units. Each base quantity has its own SI units. So here students we have this table, length, its unit is meter, mass, kilogram, time, second, electric current, ampere, intensity of light, candela, yes temperature, kelvin, amount of a substance is mole. Next we have the drive units, the units used to measure drive quantities are called the drive units. This is the definition of drive units. Drive units are defined in terms of base un units and are obtained by multiplying or dividing one or more base units with each other. When we multiply one or more drive units ko multiply karte ya divide karte we get our drive units. The unit of area for example meter square and the unit of volume is meter cube are the based on the unit of length which is meter. So basic unit of length kya hai? Meter hai. Jam isko multiply ya divide karte we get the unit of area and volume. So this is the def uh, examples of drive units. Speed is defined as the distance covered in unit time. Therefore its unit is meter per second. In the same way the unit of density, force, pressure, power can be derived using one or more base units. So here we have the table for the drive units, speed is meter per second, acceleration meter per second per second, volume cubic meter, force newton, pressure pascal, density kilogram per cubic meter, charge coulomb. Next students we have the prefixes, what are the prefixes, look at the definition. He is saying some of the quantities are either very large or very small, for example 2,50,000 meters, 0.002 watts and 0.000002 grams. So SI units have the advantage that their multiples and sub multiples can be expressed in the terms of prefixes and it is called the prefixes. For example, here we have the prefix exa, its multiplier is 8, 10 with power 18, penta 10 with power 15, ter tera 10 with power 12 giga 10 with power 9 and so on so in this way through the help of prefixes these are the words or letters added before si units such as kilo mega giga and milli these prefixes are given in this table the prefixes are useful to express very large or very small quantities for example if we divide 20,000 by grams by 1000 to express it into kilograms so we can easily convert it into kilograms by dividing it 1000. 
so whenever we uh, uh, divide it by 1000 we get 20 kgs instead of grams so table 1.4 shows some multiples and some multiples of length however double prefixes are not used for example no prefix is used with the kilogram since it already contains the prefix kilo so 1 kilometer is equal to 1 with a 10 with power 3 meters 1 centimeter 1 millimeter 1 micrometer 1 nanometer all these uh, some multiples of length are given in this table table 1.3 are used with both types base and drive units let us consider few more examples yes here 2 lakh meter per second if we multiply 200, 200 multiplied by 10 with power 3 meter per second it means 200 kilometers so we can convert it into kilometers kilowatts megawatts like this gigahertz next students we have the topic of scientific notation a simple but scientific way to li write large or small numbers is to express them in some power of 10 the moon is 384 yes then we have zeros meters away from the earth so this is the measurement distance of the sun, moon from the earth can also be expressed so it is the simplest way to write this large value which is 3.84 into 10 with power 8 meters this form of expressing a number is called the standard form or scientific notation this saves writing down or interpreting large numbers of zeros so in scientific notation a number is expressed as some power of 10 multiplied by a number between 1 and 10 for example a number 62750 can be expressed as this 662.75 into 10 with power 3 like this and also like this with power of 5 and 4 all these are the correct but the number that has one a non zero digit before the decimal 6.275 uh, 6 into 10 with power 4 preferably be, uh, be taken as a standard form so next students we have the topic of measuring instruments measuring instruments are used to measure various physical quantities such as length to measure mass to measure time to measure volume measuring instruments are used in the past were not so reliable and accurate as we use today for example sindial water clock and other time measuring instruments used around 1300 AD were quite crude on the other hand digital clocks and watches used nowadays are highly reliable and accurate first of all we have the measuring instrument meter rule what is a meter rule it is a simple scale so a meter rule is a length measuring instrument as shown in figure 1.3 it is commonly used in the laboratories to measure the length of an object or distance between two points it is one meter long which is equal to 100 centimeters each centimeter is divided into 10 small divisions we call it millimeters thus one millimeter is the smallest reading that can be taken using a meter rule and is called its least count while measuring length or distance i must be kept vertically above the reading point as shown in figure 1.4b the reading becomes doubtful if the i is uh, positioned either left or right to the reading point so we have to read it carefully so uh, part a showing the wrong position and part b showing the correct position to observe the uh, measurement on the meter rule next we have the measuring tape measuring tapes are used to measure length in meters and centimeters yes this figure 1.5 is showing the measuring tape shows a measuring tape used by blacksmith and carpenters usually usually used it a measuring tape consists of a thin and a long strip of cotton metal or plastic generally of 10 meters 20 meters and 50 meters and 100 meters long Mining tapes are marked in centimeters as well as in inches. Next, very important topic is vernier calipers. The accuracy obtained in measurements using a meter rule is up to 1 millimeter. However, an accuracy greater than 1 millimeter can be obtained by using some other instruments like vernier caliper. So, students, look at here, it is the picture of a vernier caliper. 
A vernier caliper is consists of two jaws. Here we have the two jaws as shown in figure 1.6. One jaw is fixed on the left hand side. One is movable on the right hand side. Main scale has centimeters and millimeter marks on it. Look here. Here we have marks in meters and centimeters, millimeters and centimeters. The other jaw is movable jaw. It has a vernier scale having 10 divisions. Look here. Here we have the 10 divisions of a movable jaw. So it has a uh, vernier scale having 10 divisions over it such that each of its division is 0.9 millimeter. The difference between one small division on main scale division and one vernier scale division is 0.1 millimeter. It is called least count of the vernier calipers. Least count of the vernier caliper can also be found with the help of this formula. This formula is given. Least count of vernier caliper is equal to smallest reading on main scale over number of divisions on vernier scale. So smallest reading is 1 millimeter and number of divisions are 10 divisions which is 0.1 millimeter. So least count is equal to 0.1 millimeter or we can convert it into centimeter 0.01 centimeter by dividing it with the help of 100. So how a vernier caliper works? First of all, find the error, if any, in the marrying instrument, it is called the zero error of the instrument. Knowing the error, zero error, necessary correction can be made to find the correct measurement. Next, our topic is about to finding the zero error and zero correction. To find the zero error, close the jaws like this, as shown in figure of vernier caliper gently, if zero line of the vernier scale coincides with the zero of the main scale, then the zero error is zero zero error will exist if zero of line of the vernier scale is not coinciding with the zero of the main scale zero error will be positive if zero line of vernier scale is on the right side of the zero of the main scale and will be negative if zero line of vernier scale is on the left side of zero of the main scale so look here this picture shows the zero error and how we can correct these zero errors Next, taking a reading on vernier calipers, how we can read? So here we have this block to find the diameter of this block. Let us find the diameter of a, this solid cylinder using vernier caliper. Place the solid cylinder between the jaws of the vernier caliper as shown in figure 1.8. Close the jaws till they press the opposite sides of the object gently. Note the complete divisions of, of main scale. Now note it past the vernier scale 0 in a tabular form. Next find the vernier scale division that is coinciding with any division on the main scale. Multiply it by the least count as yes we have calculated the least count in the above topic. Multiply it by least count of the vernier calipers and add it in the main scale reading. This is equal to the diameter of the solid cylinder. Add zero correction to get correct measurement. Repeat the above procedure and record at least three observations with the solid cylinder displaced or rotated each time. So in this way we can read the values on a vernier caliper. Example 11.1.1 uh, find the diameter of a cylinder placed between the outer jaws of a vernier caliper as shown in figure 1.8. To find the zero correction on closing the jaws of vernier caliper, the position of vernier scale as shown in figure 1.7b. Main scale reading is 0.0, .0 cm. Vernier division coinciding with main scale is 7 divisions. We will multiply it. We get 0.07 .0 .0 cm. So zero correction, uh, zero error is 0.0, .0 cm plus 0.07 .0 cm. So here we have the plus positive value of 0.07 cm. So zero correction is minus 0.07 cm. To find the diameter of the cylinder, mean scale reading is 2.2 cm. Yes, vernier division coinciding with main scale, which is six divisions. Vernier scale reading is six into 0.01 cm. Answer is 0.06 cm. Observed diameter of the cylinder is 2.2 cm plus it with the vernier scale reading 0.06 cm. So answer is 2.26 cm. Correct diameter of the cylinder is 0.06 minus 
zero two point one nine centimeter. So thus the correct diameter of the given cylinder as found by the Vernier calipers is two point one nine centimeter. Next we have another device, screw gauge. Look at this device and this figure. A screw gauge is an instrument that is used to measure small lens with accuracy greater than variant calipers. It is also called as micrometer screw gauge. A simple screw gauge consists of a U-shaped. Here students look here. Here we have the U-shaped metal frame, frame with a metal stud. Here we have the metal stud. This is called a metal stud. At its one end, a hollow cylinder. Students, here we have this hollow cylinder or sleeve. We call it sleeve. Has a millimeter scale over it. Along a line called index line parallel to its axis, the hollow cylinder acts as a nut. It is fixed at the end of U-shaped frame opposite to the stud. So here, opposite to the stud stud the thimble so students here we have this thimble yes this part is called the thimble has a threaded spindle inside it as the thimble completes one rotation we can rotate it the spindle moves one millimeter along the index line it is because the distance between consecutive threads on the spindle is one millimeter this distance is called a pitch or screw on the spindle Next, the thimble has 100 divisions. So here on the thimble, we have the 100 divisions around its one end. It is the circular scale of the screw gauge. A thimble completes one rotation. It means 100 divisions past the index line and the thimble moves one millimeter along the main scale. Thus, each division of circular scale crossing the index line moves the thimble through 1 over 100 millimeters or we can say it 0.01 millimeter on the main scale to find the least count pitch of the screw gauge divided by number of divisions on the circular gauge just like as we did in the one in case of one calipers one millimeter millimeter over 100 which is 0.01 millimeter we can convert it, it into centimeters which is 0.001 centimeter but dividing it by 100 working of a screw gauge the first step to find the zero error of the screw gauge yes here we have the procedure to find the zero error to find the zero error close the gap between the spindle and the stud of the screw gauge by rotating the red in the clockwise direction if zero of circular scale coincides with the index line then the zero error will be zero as shown in figure 1.10 zero error, error will be positive if zero of circular scale is behind the index line in this case multiply the number of divisions of the circular scale that has not crossed the index line with the least count of screw gauge to find zero error as shown in figure 1.10 zero error will be negative if zero of circular scale has crossed the index line if the index line ko cross the index line, then it will negative hoga zero error. In this case, multiply the number of divisions of the circular scale that has crossed the index line with the least count of screw gauge to find the negative error, zero error. So students, here we have the example 1.2. The diameter of a, of a given wire, close the gap between the spindle and the stud of the screw gauge by turning the wrench in the clockwise direction. Note main scale as, a, as well as circular scale reading to find the zero error and hence zero correction of the screw gauge. Part 3. Step 3 mein apne kya karne hai? open the gap between stud and a spindle of the screw gauge by turning the wrench in anti clockwise direction. Place the given wire in the gap as shown in figure 1.11. Turn the wrench so that the object is pressed gently between the st studs and the spindle. Step number four, note main scale as well as circular scale readings to find the diameter. Number five, apply zero correction to get the correct diameter of the wire. Number six, repeat. Repeat steps three, four and five at different places of the wire to obtain its average diameter. Now repeat steps 3, 4 and 5 at different places 
wire to obtain its average diameter so students here we have the calculations to find zero correction and diameter of the wire closing the gap of the screw gauge mean scale reading circular scale reading yes and zero error of the screw gauge and zero correction just like we have did in vernier scale and then diameter of the wire mean scale reading is equal to 1 millimeter when the given wire is pressed by the stud and spindle of the screw cage so the no, uh, number of divisions on circular scale is 85 divisions circular scale reading is 85 into 0 0.01 millimeter which is 0 0.85 millimeters observed diameter of the given wire is 1 millimeter plus 0 0.5 0 0.85 millimeter which is equal to 1.85 millimeters correct diameter of the given wire is given 1.85 millimeter minus 0 0.24 millimeters which is 1.61 millimeters so our diameter of the given wire is 1.61 millimeters mass measuring instruments next we have some mass measuring instruments pots were used to measure grains in various parts of the world in ancient times prane waqton mein pots ko use kiya jata grains ko measure karne ke liye However, balances were also in use by Greeks and Romans. Beam balances, this is the picture of a beam balance, are still in use at many places. In beam balance, the unknown mass is placed in one pan. It is balanced by putting known masses in the other. Next, we have the physical balance, students. Here is, we have this picture of physical balance. A physical balance is used in the laboratory to measure the mass of various objects by comparison. It consists of a beam resting at the center of a fulcrum. So here students we have this beam. This is balancing screws. Yes, this part is called stirrup. Then we have this pillar, the pointer, the scale here. This line is called the plumb line. These are the pans. Pointer is at, B, uh, is at zero. Look here. Here we have zero. Beam is balanced. It means that beam is balanced as shown in figure 1.14 the beam carries scale pans over the hooks on either side unknown mass is placed on the left pan find some suitable standard masses that cause the pointer to remain at zero on the raising beam next we have example 1.3 find the mass of a small stone by a physical balance solution follow the steps to measure the mass of a given object adjusting the leveling screws with the help of plumb line to level the platform of physical balance number two raise the beam gently by turning and resting knob clockwise using balancing screws at the end ends of its beam bring the pointer at zero position Number three, turn the resting knob to bring the beam back on its ports. Balance the given object stone on its on its left pan. Place suitable standard masses from the weight box on the right pan. Raise the beam, lower the beam. If its pointer is at is not at zero, repeat adding or removing suitable standard masses in the right pan till the pointer rests at zero on raising the beam number six note the standard masses on the right pan there sum is the mass of the object on the left pan next we have the lever balance yes this is the picture of a lever balance when lever is fitted placing the object in one pan and standard masses on the other pan the pointer of the lever system moves the pointer is brought to zero by varying standard masses electronic balance electronic balance such as as shown in figure 1.16 come in various ranges milligram range gram kilograms before measuring the mass of a body it is switched on and its reading is set to zero next place the object to be weighted the most accurate balance is the mass of one rupee coin is measured by using different balances in case of beam balance, let the balance measure coins mass is 3.2 grams. Let the in case of physical balance, let the balance measure coins mass is 3.24 grams. Electronic balance, let the balance measure coins mass 3.247 grams. So, which 
वन इज द मोस्ट एक्यूरेट मेयरमेंट्स लीज काउंट ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैलेंस इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन ग्राम्स एंड वन एम जी देयर फोर इट्स मेयरमेंट वुड बी मोर प्रिसाइज देन इज सेंसिटिव बैलेंस फिजिकल बैलेंस दस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैलेंस इज द मोस्ट सेंसिटिव बैलेंस इन द अब बैलेंसिज नेक्स्ट टू मैर द टाइम स्टॉप वॉच इज यूज टू मैर द टाइम इंटरवल टू एन इवेंट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्टॉप वॉच इज मैकेनिकल एंड डिजिटल मैकेनिकल स्टॉप वॉच कैन मैर ए टाइम इंटरवल अप टू मिनिमम जीरो पॉइंट वन सेकेंड एंड डिजिटल स्टॉप वॉच इज कॉमनली यूज इन लेबोरेटरीज कैन मैर ए टाइम इंटरवल एज स्मॉल एज वन ओवर हंड्रेड सेकेंड और जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सेकेंड how to use the stop watch a mechanical stop watch has a knob that is used to wind the spring the powers the watch uske upar ek knob hoti hai iske zariye aap usko easily wind kar sakte hain it can also be used as a start stop and reset button the st watch starts when the knob is pressed once jab jaise hi aap ek dafa knob ko press karte hain stop watch start ho jati hai when pressed second time it stops the watch while the third press brings the needle back to the zero position in case of digital stop watch students it starts to indicate the time lapsed as the start stop button is pressed as soon as start stop button is pressed again it it stops and indicates the time interval recorded by it between start and stop of an event mering cylinder here we have this picture of mering cylinder a mering cylinder is a cylinder is a glass or transparent plastic cylinder it has a scale along its length that indicates the volume in millimeters as shown in figure 1.19 mering cylinders have different capacities from 100 mm to 2500 mm they are used to measure the volume of a liquid or powdered substance it is also used to find the volume of an irregular shaped solid insoluble in a liquid by displacement method so student students here figure a shows the wrong way to note the liquid and uh, figure number part b shows the correct position of i to note the liquid level keeping i at the liquid level how to use mering cylinder students while using a mering cylinder mering cylinder it must be kept vertical on a plane surface taking a mering cylinder place it vertically on the table pour some water into it note the surface of water is curved as shown in figure 1.19 the meniscus of the most liquid curve downwards while the meniscus of the mercury curves upward the correct method to note the level of a liquid in a cylinder is to keep the eye at the same level as the meniscus of the liquid as shown in figure 1.19 part b it is incorrect to note the liquid level keeping the eye above the level of the liquid as shown in figure 1.19 part a when the eye is above the liquid level the meniscus appears higher on the scale similarly when the eye is below the liquid level the meniscus appears lower than actual height of the liquid so it is a correct way to my to find out the measurement using a cylinder laboratory safety rules are given you must read all these rules do not carry out any experiment without permission of teacher do not eat drink play in the laboratory read the instructions carefully to familiarize yourself with the possible hazards handle equipments with care do not hesitate to consult your teacher in case of any doubt next we have the mering volume of an irregular shape mering cylinder can also be used to find the volume of some small irregular shaped solid that sinks in water let us find the volume of a small stone Ta stone take some water in a graduated mering cylinder note the volume vi of water in the cylinder tie the solid with a thread lower the solid into the cylinder till it is fully immersed in water note the volume vf of water and the solid volume of solid will be vf minus vi also do not tamper with the electrical appliances report any accident or injuries immediately to, to your teacher next last topic is about significant figures what are significant figures the value of a physical quantity is expressed by number followed by some suitable unit every measurement of a quantity is an attempt to find its true value the accuracy in measuring a physical quantity depends upon various factors number 
one the quality of the marine instrument the skill of the observer and the number of observations made for example a student measures the length of a book 18 cm using a measuring tape the number of significant fingers in his or her measured value are 2 the left digit is 1 is the accurately known digit while the digit 8 is the doubtful digit for which the student may not be sure another student measures the same book using the ruler and claims its length is 18.4 cm in this case all the three figures are significant the two left digits 1 and 8 are accurately accurately known digits next four is the doubtful digits its third student records the length of a book 18.425 cm yes the measurement is made using the same ruler the numbers of significant figures is again 3 consisting of two accurately digits 1 8 and third doubtful digit is 4 the digits 2 and 5 are not significant so it is because the reading of these last digits cannot be justified using a ruler and improvement in the quality of measurement by using better instrument increases the significant figures in the measurement result the significant figures are all the dig digits that are known accurately and the one estimated digit most more significant figure means greater precision number 1 here some rules are given to identify significant figures non zero digits are always significant zeros between two significant figures are also significant final or ending zeros on the right in the decimal fraction are significant zeros written on the left side of the decimal point for the purpose of spacing the decimal point are not significant in whole numbers that end in one or more zeros without a decimal point the zeros may or may not be significant in such cases it is not clear which zeros serve to locate the position value and which are actually parts of the measurement in such a case express the quantity using significant notation to find the significant zero here in the last students we have the this example find the significant figures in each of the following rules values number a all the number a value is 100.8 s seconds number b is 0.00580 kilometers number c is 210.0 grams so in case of part a all the four digits are significant the zeros between the two significant figures 1 and 8 are also significant part b the first two zeros are not significant they are used to space the decimal point the digit 5 and 8 are the final zero and are significant this there are three significant figures in part b part c the final zero is significant since it comes after the decimal point the zero between last zero and one is also significant because it comes between the significant figures thus the number or significant fig figures in the case is 4 in scientific notation it can also be written as like this so students on the left hand side we have this box rounding the numbers number 1 if the last digit is less than 5 then it is simply dropped this decreases the number of significant digits in the figure for example 1.943 is rounded to 1.94 number 2 if the last digit digit is greater than 5 then the digit on the left its left is increased by 1 this also decreases the number of significant digits like this for example 1.47 is rounded to two significant digit 1.5 if number 3 if the last digit is 5 then it is rounded to get nearest even number for example 1.35 is rounded to 1.4 and 1.45 is also rounded rounded to 1.4 thank you allah hafiz